Well, hey guys, welcome back. Hey, we're going to continue on this uh, journey with the DNA and rediscovering who we are in Christ. You know, uh, we have a new DNA. Honestly, we have a new DNA. And what, that's what's so amazing about DNA is the fact that it sets up these markers. And I believe that when you and I come to faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, we've set up a new marker. Why do I say that? Because it says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, it, it goes on to say that we are a new creation. We're born again. Um, we're a new creation in Christ. Old things pass away. Behold, all things are becoming new. Now we can become God's ambassadors. Now, it's amazing to me how many people are living in this world calling themselves Christian Christians, but they react um, in the manner of the flesh and the way the world would have you be, uh, react because you're seeking the approval of man rather than the approval of God. And I, and I ask myself, if you're a true believer, why would you want to do that? Why would you want to bow down to that? And it has to do with faith and trust that God has your back. God has more for you than there is against you. He said, I'll never leave you. I will never forsake you. We're going through all kinds of problems in, in this day. And what we're finding is God is bringing us to this place of saying, I've, I can't live this way anymore. I've got to live after the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, Paul went through this, and we find it in Romans chapter 7, where he said, oh, wretched man that I am. Every time he tried to do right, he would do wrong. He would find this law of the flesh would, would come up. So what God was doing in our, his life, as he does in your life, is he's using the crisis, he's using the suffering, he's using sinful patterns, old natures, to reveal it, that you can get rid of it, and now the more of the Holy Spirit can be poured in. This is called sanctification. When we get to Romans chapter 8, listen to this, verse 1, there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Verse 2, for the law of the spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. You see, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. You and I have been given a gift. It's free. You don't have to pay for it. You've been approved by receiving Christ as your, as your Lord and Savior. He's approved you. Now you have to walk in it. We respond then to people as Jesus would respond to them. And we're literally living in a world that the devil is doing everything he can to suppress the church. And what we're finding now is the church is tired of it. We're breaking out of that suppression. God is breaking us forth and saying, I, he's getting us to say, I want life. I want to walk in the spirit and the freedom of Christ, not in the guilt and the shame and the fear that this world is trying to put over me. God has your back. There is more for you than there is against you. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. No matter what you're going through, you will never die if you're a believer. You'll never die. I'm telling you, you'll go to sleep one day and wake up on the other side of eternity in heaven with Christ, but you'll never die a death of hell. I'm telling you, God has your back. Walk in it. The day is, is dawning, friends, when the church is rising up like never before, and it's time you and I put our faith and trust in Christ. Understand, surrender to the Lord, get excited. God is, he's waking up his bride, and I'm excited for you. I'm excited for the church. I'm excited for the day when we're seeing the separation we're watching the old, the old guard is dying out. People that are living under the law in the church, it's got to be this way. It's got to be this way. It's got to be this way. Yet they have no freedom in Christ. They don't know how to walk in that freedom. They don't know how to testify. They don't know how to pray in public. They don't know how to worship. They don't know how to be free in the Lord. Why? Because they're up underneath the law. Why are they up underneath the law? Because they're still seeking the approval of man and not of God. You've got his approval. Walk in the Lord. He's got your back. God loves you. See you next week.